teman-teman, have you ever wondered why moving a chair is easier than moving a table? Or running on a track is easier than running on a beach? Hmm, why? So, let me tell you, this is all related to Newton's law of motion. Newton's law of motion is invented by Sir Isaac Newton that describes the relationship between force acting on body and the motions of the body in response to the force. There are three laws of motion. First is the law of inertia. Second is the law of acceleration. And third is the law of... Law of reaction. Yes, reaction. Generally, the first law defines force qualitatively. The second law defines force quantitatively. And the third law defines that single isolated force do not exist. Isaac Newton states that if an object at rest, it will remain at rest, and if an object moving, it will stay moved until there is an external force acting on it. First law states that if a mass of an object increases, the inertia of an object will also increase. So let me show you some examples. As been shown in the video just now, compared between the first riders and the second riders, the second riders still in moving state even though the motorcycle has been stopped move. So it can be concluded that the more the mass, the more the object resists to change. The second law of motion said that acceleration of an object depend on the forces acting upon the object and the object mass. If given the net forces increase, the acceleration will also increase. And the more the mass of an object, the less acceleration of the object. For example, when the force is applied to an object at rest, cause it to accelerate in the direction of the force. And if the object already in the motion, it will either speed up, slow down, or change in the direction and the direction of the object depend on the direction of the force acting on the object okay let's see the example of the second law based on the video when force is applied to the motorcycle the motorcycle move further in this way compared to the car it can be summarized that with constant force, the less the mass of the object, the more the acceleration of the object. The Newton third law is, uh, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Force always occurs in pair. So when one body pushes against another, so the second body pushes back. The force on the first object are equal to the force on the second object. The direction of force for the first object are opposite to the direction of force on the second object. Riding a motorcycle is an example of the Newton third law of motion. So, let's take a look at the video that we have prepared. The force that tire exit on the ground is equal to the force that the ground pushing against the tire bed. The opposite, di opposite direction of the force make it easier to balance the motorcycle during the movement of motorcycle. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.